hey guys what's going on today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make fire clothing mock-ups for your brand on top of that i'm going to show you guys how to make it more realistic where to put shadows to add more depth to your mock-up and other methods to help level up your mock-up and make it look even better also in the description we'll have a link to the same procreate brush that i used to make this hoodie mock-up all you have to do is just set the brush size tap the screen and your mock-up is right there then from there you can drop in your color add in your textures and point your graphics and then you're good to go but i'll go through all of that in the video if you guys are interested there'll be a link in the description where you can go and purchase that brush i'm gonna have timestamps as well in the description so then wherever part you get lost at you can just go directly there and continue where you left off all right guys please enjoy the video so we're going to start off with the front first so before we do anything else we're going to tap this wrench at the top left of the screen and then we are going to tap we're going to go to canvas hit drawing guide next edit drawing guide so now we're going to go all the way to the right to symmetry and we're just going to make sure that it's lined up in the middle it looks pretty good right now okay so that's pretty good we have our stencil our outline now we're gonna fill it in so we're only gonna color on this layer at the bottom okay now we're gonna bring our color it's gonna appear on both sides all right so now we're gonna do the same for the next one fill in everything Once we have that colored in, now we're gonna add our textures in our material like fabric. So we're gonna come up here, make a new layer. Then we're gonna put on a drawing assist, but we're also gonna put on the clipping mask, okay? So. But yeah, I'm using a separate brush pack for my fabrics. I'm just gonna fill that color everything in and make sure we get everything. All right, zoom in. You can see the texture right here. Okay. See the texture right here. All right. So now that we have that, we're gonna import a texture, so we're gonna take it, we're gonna resize it, and then we're also gonna make this a clipping mask. So then we're gonna come to the, push this in right here, we're gonna change the blend mode, and I like to put it on a soft light, bring out the opacity just a little bit. Okay, great. Now that looks good. We're gonna come to here and we're gonna label this blur. But we're gonna add some more shadows to it, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the shadows. So we're gonna go to here. We're gonna come over here and we're going to draw along the edges some parts where there may be shadows right here. Just come up here, throw on sleeves. Then we're gonna 
you some shadows right there. Maybe a little bit. Right. Erase some of it and make it look a lot better. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do, make that clipping mask. That gets rid of all like the excess marks. <clears throat> right. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna Gaussian blur it. So make it look a lot better. And then what I do is I just come through and I erase some of these parts. But you know what? Let me use a softer brush. But I think I might change the color of the hoodie because it's a little bit too dark. So let me just do that real quick. So, the shadows are a lot more prevalent, but that's okay. Just bring down the opacity. Gonna bring down the opacity a little bit. And then we're gonna continue. With all these parts right here. Probably not. Move it to the edge. And then, like I said, bring back some of that smoothness. Take the smudge tool. straight don't fret and you just come here so you hold it after you draw the line and then go like this and you put your other finger on the screen while you're holding the line you can't get it straight it'll be more line okay so then now you come through here this bit right there okay we will come through to the bottom Stitching right there. I'm gonna come up here. The seams. If you need help figuring out where to put your stitching, you can always look at references. You can always look at references. You can look at the clothes you have in your house. To help with stitching, that's what I did. All right, that is not straight at all. Oh my goodness! Okay, straighten that out. Okay, all right. 
So you can see it's really coming together. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna import our file or our phone. And then we're gonna size this accordingly. Switch it up and move down on it just to give it a more destroyed look. That's what I kind of grab for. Take some parts here to really sell that vintage. Just want to make sure it is aligned up. Okay. Good. Wonderful. Okay. So. I'm going to show you guys how. Zippers. So I'm gonna come over here, make a new layer for the top. I'm gonna make this zipper. Okay, hold it. Just straighten it out. Be try the finger. Hold the screen, and this will make sure that it's a straight line. Okay, so we have that. Let's align this better. Let's touch the middle. Okay. Alright. That's good. So we have 
Zucker now. I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit. Sometimes the snap gets in the way. So we have our zip. Now we're gonna duplicate it, invert to make it black. And we're gonna move it down just a little bit, turn off the snapping so we can have more control. Come on, okay. Put it here, okay. So that will add some more depth to it and we're just gonna do a Blur a little bit. Slight large and blur. Just to add depth to the zipper. So that do this. Now we're gonna use the star zipper right here. So I like to do my zippers like this. It's easier to fill the colors in. I try to start it bigger because it's just easier to uh, deal with. Try it. Okay. So now we have the zipper. Duplicate, use saturation and brightness, bring it down, bring this down as well, bring it right, right here, and then we're also going to add a Gaussian blur to this as well, to give it that depth, and let me also thank you guys for tuning into this video. This is how you make a zip up mock up for your hoodie. Once again, I'll have a link in the description to my mock up brush pack that I use to make this hoodie. It's just going to take the front and back stencil of the zip up hoodie. But guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to have more videos on the way. Peace.